Hey YouTube, it's Vlogmas Day. Hey! Let me try to keep like this house. It's so ugly. I sent Chris to the store to give me a gingerbread house. And he bought me this ugly gingerbread house. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It only got two colors. Gold and silver. Well, white too, but gold and silver. Gingerbread house will be colorful. How about these different colors and different things? And he bought me this. So I'm already annoyed because he just really messed up my video. But we gon' still work with it. So I asked Instagram today to give me questions. So I don't want to be doing the gingerbread house and be quiet. So I want to be answering questions from Q and A while building the doing the gingerbread house. So I posted on Instagram. Y'all give me questions to answer, and I got a lot of questions. So before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so I got all the questions on my iPad, and I'm gonna be answering them. Wow. The lid wrap. I don't even know how to open this. Oh. Oh, I think I opened it after this. That's just cardboard. Oh y'all, it already come made. All I gotta do is decorate it. Hold on. What is this? Oh, they gave me a lot of icing. This that good icing because it's moving. Oh, well, it's already made, so I don't really gotta do nothing. All right, let me start answering questions. Okay, so the first question is, what influenced you to start YouTube? To be honest, I honestly don't remember. Like, like in 2018, everybody was like, they can become a YouTuber. So I'm like, why not hop on the wave? But everybody was just posting like intro videos. Nobody was really committed. So then I looked into it one day. I had this boy in my class named Eli. And he was like, yo, like, you got the followers. You got the potential. What you doing? Like, why you playing? And I'm like, cause it's just too much, like editing and doing all that. Ooh, y'all. Oh, I really don't gotta do nothing for real. I don't think you can eat this though, it's stank. Anyways, like I was saying, he was like, why don't you just like, do YouTube, like, you got, like, and I, so, oh, no, I'm, I'm skipping parts. When I looked into it, people really making money off of doing nothing, like, stuff I do on a daily, so I'm like, hold on, like, I could do this. So, I started doing little public interviews and stuff, and everybody knew me as the YouTube girl, so I just stuck with it, like, if something for you, stick with it. So that book, that's what really made me start YouTube. After I had looked into it, see how much money I was making. Like, and what's crazy about it, I was like 300, like 300 subscribers from making money. So I'm like, hold on, I got this. And once I hit them 1,000 subscribers and did all that, it was over. The money started coming. So yeah, that's what really made me start YouTube. Um, somebody asked, where you want to go on a vacation? Um, I don't know. I don't know where I want to go. I don't know. I think Dubai. But Dubai got too many rules. So, I don't know. I don't know yet. Now, this is so cute. 
It's real classy. Even though I talk trash about it, it's a real classy house. And you don't gotta do much. Real classy. And somebody asks, how long you and Chris been together? Me and Chris been together since this year, February 14th. So me and Chris been talking, like, without, like, with no breaks, no nothing. We've been talking as boyfriend and girlfriend since 2018. We just never made it official. Like y'all, you will see me with his homeboy posting his homeboys, but I was never posting Chris. And then we just made it official because like there was no point in hiding no more. Oh, I still got some scissors. I'm gonna use my mouth. And that's when we really made it official because. This year, uh, February 14th, we popped out, but many people know we was dating because we would be places together, or, like, people was known we was dating. Um, somebody asked, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. I love pink. Like, pink is my ultimate favorite color. Like, I love the color pink. I'm supposed to put it all in here. Yeah, I think my ultimate favorite color. Yeah, you can tell this that good icing. It's that real good icing. Uh, somebody at oh. How are hmm, I don't want to answer that. How is online school going? And do you plan on going back to school? Um, online school is going perfectly fine for me. Well, it's going fine, but I got like a certain class that I just don't like but it's going fine for me it's going fine for me so i can't say online it's going fine and no i don't want to go back but one i don't want to go back because the coronavirus test i said the coronavirus test the coronavirus um is getting bigger like a lot of people starting to have it it's just too much yeah, I like online school. I don't like waking up in the morning, getting dressed, doing all that. Online school, I'll just brush my hair down back. But like I was saying, all I gotta do is brush my hair, brush my teeth, and I'm done. And I, it's very inconvenient. I could take my iPad anywhere. Like, I got a school iPad. And a school iPad, it come with Wi-Fi, so I don't gotta be waiting for to look like, waiting for Wi-Fi to come. It come with its own LTE. I could be in a car, in an Uber, on a plane, no, I can't but I could be anywhere doing my work, so I really like online school. And school in whenever, like when the teacher say leave the class, you can leave. In regular school, you gotta sit there wait for the bell. See, it ain't no bell over here. It ain't no bell. You just could go. I'm trying to get all the icing out because I want to use as much icing as possible. I should have bought my own icing. Why well, should have made him buy some? No icing, cause there don't be enough icing. Here we go to the next question. My favorite, oh somebody said, what's my favorite food? My favorite food is seafood. Anything with seafood, I love seafood. I love seafood rice, I love crabs, I love anything with seafood. Like, anything with seafood. I love, overly love seafood. Like, that's just the best. I love seafood, but I never had crawfish. I always want to try crawfish. Every time I tried it, it just looked nasty. I, I'm just waiting for this, like, one time for it to look good, and I'm gonna try. Never, never came back. And for one, I was only getting like two hundred dollars a week. What I'm gonna do with that? I spent two hundred dollars on my food in a week. I'm, I'm not. I wasn't making like enough money for me. Like, I'm an expensive girl. So whatever I do decide to do or be when I grow up, it got to be something in my budget. Like I'm not settling for less at all. 
I am not settling for less. I don't care what the job is. If it ain't something I could go out, have fun with, go on trips with, I don't want it. But my dream job is I want to have a business. I want to have a business and I want to basically like be my own boss. Like I want to sell something, whether it's clothes, shoes, anything. Hell, no, I had, I tried hell. I can't do that. But I want to be able to sell something and I want the business to carry on in life. Like I want the business to be real successful. Um, somebody asked, what's your favorite holiday movie and song? My favorite holiday movie is This Christmas, and my favorite holiday song is This Christmas. I love This Christmas. Like, that is my favorite movie. Off that. My favorite Christmas movie? Off that. That is my favorite. Oh, this looks like enough. Okay, I think I should tie it. Like, it should come all the way down. But I gotta make sure I don't put like a big, big, big hole in it because I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so I got this right. I got this right. Now I'm gonna see what this. It's a one flavor fondant. Oh, oh, oh. I can use this for. Oh, they use this for the doors. I mean, for the windows. I don't think, I think I'm gonna use it for the door, not for the windows, but that's probably the door, not the windows. And they only gave me a little bit. Look, look how little this is. <laughs> It'll do. Okay, so for my top, I wanna do, I forgot what question I was on, y'all, so. I'ma just get to Oh, my favorite holiday movie. Yeah. I love this Christmas light. That is ooh, the icing that came from the bottom to the top. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, the icing done messed up, y'all. I done messed this icing up. I'm gonna talk. Let me just start. I think every time I squeeze it, the icing on the head. But yeah, this Christmas is my ultimate favorite Christmas movie. Like, I just love that movie so much. How they came together as a family. From everything they had going on. Like, I feel like that's how every family should be. Like, I understand family had any troubles or whatever, but they took up for another. No matter what the situation was. No matter what the situation was, they stood up for one another and they got through all their problems. Next question. Um, did you and Chris take a break? Because I'm just asking this question. No. Me and Chris, well, technically, yes. We took a break from social media because social media is damaging. Why I say it's damaging? Because the people who be commenting the hard eyes out of your picture, they the same people who be trying to ruin your relationship. And that's something you gotta always remember. Like, people be commenting hard eyes and stuff, but they ain't really, they ain't really. They ain't really for your relationship. And you just gotta understand that. So we took a break from social media. We did take a break. But as a couple, nah, we did. We were still together. We just wasn't posting how we usually did. We were posting us together. Everything was like low key and quiet. But we still was going on dates, still was doing this, still was doing that. We just wasn't posting it. Or I posted, but I won't show him. Or show, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I wouldn't show him. Or acting like I'm not with him. Just the better us. But now we back on social media, so. Yeah. But we was gone for like a good three, four months. Cause it's my birthday. And we in December now. We just like came back on social media like this month. Yeah, this month really. Where do I see myself in five years? In five years, 
I see myself successful with YouTube. Like, I know like right now, I got a good thing going on. I got a good crowd, but I want to be bigger. I want to be better than what I am right now. Like, I want to be on a different level. Like, I want to be somewhere higher. Like, I want to hit milestones. I want to look back at my old videos and be like, oh my God, I did stuff like that. Sorry, I got to start feeling this. Because I'm wasting ice. I want to be able to be like, oh my God, I did that. But oh my God, I used to say that in my videos. I want to be like, I want to be able to look back and laugh and be better than what I am right now. That's why I said myself five years. YouTube wise, because they say YouTube wise. <laughs> Um, somebody asked who my favorite YouTuber is. Yeah, I mean. My favorite YouTuber is. I don't have a favorite YouTuber actually. I watch any and everybody. I don't like. I may y'all may not see me like post people on YouTube. I mean, post, post people on my social media, like me watching them or me supporting them. But I watch everybody. I love everybody YouTube. Like even people who don't even have a big fan base, I still watch them. Just to like see where they had at, like get different ideas, be able to do all that. But hold on, y'all. I gotta stop answering these questions real quick. Cause this taking me a long time. And I ain't trying to be sitting here for a long time. So let me hurry up and get this done. Hard work and dedication. I done finished my gingerbread house. But let's get into the details. So do y'all not see my little ice on the side of the house? And my little snow drizzles on the side. I made me a door. And the entrance. And everything. I never knew how much dedication and time it makes to make these but this is my front door and then this is my I ain't the side but this is my back door I don't know what that's supposed to be I ain't like it so I took it to the front door but yeah I finished my tree y'all I mean I keep saying tree I finished my house y'all yeah this is really fun but it's a really mess it was a oh my god I think I was supposed to use this yeah, I'm supposed to use this. I ain't even use it. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah. Vlogmas Day 8 was a success. You ready for Vlogmas Day? Nine.